here we are at Seven Foods. I went first to Costco and tried to find uh, beans, cooked beans. Uh, first, because it's a better price in Costco. And second, because if it's Kirkland, it's better quality or really good quality. But I couldn't find cooked beans. I had to cook them myself. Um, at least in this store, I didn't find that option. So here I am at Seven Foods to see what I find because uh, as Ali um, sent me not only a car kettle, beautiful and very thoughtful, she also sent me, thank you very much Ali, <laughs> a rice cooker. It's a mini rice cooker and I couldn't wait and I unboxed it already and I put it in the kitchen, the trunk. <laughs> Um, so, but I'm going to show it to you guys when I am actually using it. The whole purpose of the rice cooker is for you to be able to cook something inside the car safely um, using the cigarette um, portal or an electricity connection. I don't know, but <laughs> it's a cigarette part thing. Um, so. I am going to get beans and with the rice. In Uruguay, we have this meal very often, especially in winter because it's, it's comfort food and it's delicious. Um, of course, we cook it at home. We don't buy it in cans. Actually, we buy the beans and we leave them in water overnight and then we wash them the next day and we cook them slowly in whatever mix we put them with a lot of water uh, but these ones are going to be canned because the whole purpose of the rice cooker is for me not to take the stove out and cook the beans the beans have to be cooked already so let's go and see what options we have <laughs> I showed you already the four kinds of beans that I bought at Seven Foods and now we're going to choose one because I am tempted. It is late and I'm not hungry but I want to uh, try the rice cooker. I have no idea how that's going to go. The amount of cotton that is flying this lasts no more than two weeks, but I think it's been about a week already. And it's quite annoying because in the car, I don't want anything flying around <laughs> on my clothes. I don't want anything stuck, but it's beautiful to see outside. We are going to try and, re oops, I forgot to remove the zoom. Um, we are going to try and reach the rice cooker now. First the vitamins and last the rice cooker. <laughs> it was a big effort here. <laughs> Super tiny as you can see and we're going to clean it. I don't have water. I should have remembered and cleaned it in little wet. But I didn't, so we have to do it now. And wipe. Now the measurement cup, very tiny as well. It has a spoon. I don't know if I'm going to use it, but just in case, I'm going to clean it as well. I 
this is a steamer I'm not going to use the steamer because I'm going to uh, cook four cups of rice and see how much rice that is in here has a monkey face <laughs> So with rice I can make tuna with, uh, I don't know, tomatoes and mayonnaise, I can do beans, I can do corn, I can do a lot of things. I have to figure out more, but I can do a lot and that's good because <laughs> I don't want to set up the stove but by myself it's like I'm tired of cooking by, for myself it is I'm so tired of cooking for myself and um, I don't like cooking only for myself I've done it and I've shown recipes I can't even buy uh, meat anymore because when I buy meat is too much and it goes to waste because it's only for myself so I don't buy meat anymore so if I choose something to supply the meat it would be mushrooms I love mushrooms mushrooms with rice and a sauce and I can find everything canned and cooked already how about that but now if I am with my friends and Cooking something is more fun, so I, I wouldn't have a problem setting up the whole thing. But for myself only, it's too much work. And I don't like cooking only for myself. Now, let me show you the amount of rice I have. So I have a lot. <laughs> it's like, every day I work out, I get less strong. <laughs> Especially my hands, I never have enough strength in my hands. I've never... My strong part of the body is my legs. Are my legs. Forget about the rest. I know you're not seeing it really. Oh yeah, you're seeing it. And by the way, you're wondering where I get water from? This water that I have right now, I got it from Lilouette. It is water without chlorine. It's delicious. And water lasts a lot with me. Even though I drink every day, it lasts a lot. So I'm happy about that. Well, it's 18 liters and a half in this container. Look. I'm going to do a tour of the car, but either way. That here is the rice. So it's going to be four of these. Actually, I'm going to make three. I think that four is too much. Now we're going to add the water. Everything is so tiny. Miniature. One. So I don't know if I said, but it's three and a half cups of water. 
for three cups of rice. Two. Oops. I almost spill it. Three. And a half. The good thing is that even if it's too cold, now if it's raining, I'm going to get soaking wet here because all the ingredients are here. But, and I don't have room inside the car to put the ingredients, but if it's cold, I just put everything here and I go to the car and I finish everything there. Okay, we got the can opener. Let's close it. <laughs> and this we're not going to use it, so we can put it here on the side. That side is where everything that I don't know where to put something goes there. <laughs> First of all, as you can see, there is not much space. Not space at all. I even have my <laughs> breakfast um, banana bread there. So let's set everything up. Let's experiment. We are going to do keep warm and cooking. Oh, sorry. Cooking. Okay, let's turn the car on. Oh, now it is cooking. So I'm cooking. And. Yeah. Keep warm and cooking. Okay, let's see. See this? It is supposed to be cooking. And I hope it is because um, that's the only thing that it says in the manual. So I can feel it's warm. It's been 24 minutes. The, re the red light is still on. I don't know if you see it. Um, I don't want to move you because it took me forever to put you there. But yes, the red line, yeah. You, you can see the red light. When the red light turns off, then the green light turns on. And that is the time where I can unplug everything, turn off the car and let it cool before I open it because it's going to steam a lot of heat. The red light is off now, so I'm going to unplug. I'm going to turn off the car, unplug the rice cooker and bring it down here. I hope you can see. Yeah, you can see a little bit only, but let's see. I think that's the best place to put, to put the rice cooker. Oh, I have to remove you from your spot and show you this. This rice, as far as I can see, is fully cooked. Oh no, I think, oh no, it, it needs a little bit more. We're going to put it back on. So now I kept it here and I turn it on, but I changed the plug. I changed the plug instead of using it in this one that I think doesn't, doesn't work very well. I put it to the side one right there. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see. One thing that I noticed is that most of the water was already absorbed by the rice and it was cooked. I was not fully cooked, but probably because that plug not, doesn't even charge the jackery very well. So that's why I use the jackery in the other plug. Only 15 minutes after, and now the green light is on, which means that the rice is cooked. And now we are going to open. First, I'm going to turn off the car. And I am going to unplug the rice cooker. And... Ah, uh, it's not that hot. It is just hot. Warm. Not even hot. Okay. <laughs> this looks delicious. Okay, this now looks like rice. Cooked rice. I think it's time to open the can of beans. Now we are going to do a taste test. It 
could be a little bit it could be a little bit softer but it's not bad mm. I'm going to lift leave it closed so it softens That's what I used to do at home. I used to cook it and leave it closed so all the steam stays inside and it gets softer, the, the rice. It is a little bit dry, so maybe, yeah, I can't cook it like I cook it at home. So I think that's the kind of rice that I'm going to eat moving forward with the rice cooker is going to be just no moisture unless I add it after, which I can add a little bit of milk. But now the beans are going to have some moisture and it's going to moisturize the, the rice. So I'm pretty happy with this gift. Thank you so much, Ali. Let's now open the can of beans and enjoy the meal. I can't eat all that rice today, but I'm going to eat a little bit. Let's open this can. Kind of worms. <laughs> no. <laughs> Don't open those cans. See, that's why I didn't want to open it inside the car. It starts leaking so much liquid inside these cans so I just tasted the beans and they are so good Alhamdulillah they are so freaking good mm. so good let's pour it let's put it on the rice Let's try this a little bit, and then we put the rest. Hmm. Oh, this is hot. This is hot. The black thing. So be careful with that. Hmm. I'm eating to make room for more. <laughs> you can tell I'm a foodie. I can stop doing mm, and it comes natural. Let's put the rest. So it is late, it is 8 p.m. I am going to stop eating. This was a lot of rice, remember? And on top of it, I added the beans, which was a whole can. And look at the amount of food that we have here. Too little for the amount of rice and beans that were here. So I'm going to stop, leave this for tomorrow, inshallah. And tomorrow we shall test the car kettle. We shall. <laughs> um, I can't stop. I'm sorry, I can't stop. Mm. It is the next day and I just left the gym. I'm having my greens. I'm having it after the gym now. And I have to do a morning routine. I haven't done one in a while. <laughs> it's been a minute. <laughs> so yes, I have to do that. Uh, but as I was saying, now we have mini rice cooker there with my meal for today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish all that and I might add more beans because it's so much rice 
that I, I want more. I like a lot of beans with rice. I have to go to the library and there what I'm going to do is to try the car kettle. The kettle is behind the fridge. It is small, it was laying down and it was far in the back. I have to put more water here. with everything. Perfect. Everything is clean now. Oh, right on the triple. <laughs> so smart. So smart. Now we need to put water in the kettle. Okay, I don't have much space here, but I had a piece of bread. I was feeling a little bit sick of my stomach, so I had something solid to eat. Before I turn the car on, we're going to put this we're going to plug it in the cigarette connector. <laughs> Turn the car on. This turned on. Let's see how long it takes for this to boil. I don't know if you can hear it, but after 10 minutes, it started to boil. I don't even know if I put the right amount of water or if I put too much. So I will have to be careful when I open it. The temperature is still rising. I feel it warm. I had to put it here, right here, because it was too close to my face and I didn't want any accidents. <laughs> yeah, I know uh, how bad you can get from a hot boil water burned. Now what it's doing is pretty much stopping and continuing and stopping and continuing. Stops and keeps going. It reached 190. So I did find a review, um, it's a different kettle, but same concept, uh, I couldn't find the same one I'm using, um, and pretty much it's 15-20 minutes, it's, it's actually, you stop it at the temperature that you want it, that's pretty much what it is. So I am going to turn off the car, so now it was at 197 sorry i didn't show you but it was it was at 197 now it's off and i am going to wait for a few minutes uh, for the water to settle and then i am going to open it and make some tea so it is raining <laughs> drizzling but i don't want to do this um, inside the car because it's the first time i'm going to do it I left it for about five to ten minutes. It is really warm outside, so I guess it's good for winter when your hands are too cold. <laughs> um, and I am going to try to open this part. Uh, I'm afraid because I I have seen. Ah, it's good. Nothing. No water issues going crazy um, now what I'm going to do is to see if I have to remove the lid oh no I don't have to remove the lid to pour it in the teacup um, these are the rice cooker and the car kettle and to me they work 
amazing. They do what they have to do as they are supposed to do it. Uh, now, what I'm going to do is to try... <laughs> <laughs> is to try and zip water here, which I'm pretty sure is very hot. Oh yeah, <laughs> I will have to wait. <laughs> wow, I don't know if you reach 212, what, what? If it reached 212, is to skin you alive, like like definitely skin you alive. It, that was 196 that reached, and it is extremely hot. So what I'm going to do is once I get into the library, uh, once I get into the library, I am going to um, remove the lid so it cools down a little bit. Otherwise, I'm not going to be able to drink my tea. Who knows for how long? Because this is the kind of mugs that um, retains the temperature for a long time so yeah thank you so much Ali and definitely I recommend getting these two products if um, anyone is either car camping or going for camping or has an RV or whatever uh, they work really well now, what I'm going to do moving forward is using the jaggery so I don't waste my gas because unless I am traveling and I put the rice cooker to work while I'm traveling uh, or the kettle, then it, it is not worth hooking it to the, straight to the car. Um, so the jaggery is, is going to be the best option for me. I don't really know how many times I said it, but again, thank you for the gifts. <laughs> These are very thoughtful gifts, especially for um, a cold day. Definitely thoughtful. Yeah, amazing. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>